Hello everybody and welcome to this more somber video um, that is here for your um, enjoyment and criticism. This is a prophecy and 20 years from now we will come back and watch this video. The Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. That's what it is. Um, the Republican Party has been trying to do this for um, a very long time and they have now succeeded to an extent to do that. But I think they really fucking shot themselves in the foot. And here's why. The Republican Party walks this fine line between um, keeping their religious base happy and keeping their um, financial institutions happy, okay? And this is going to come to a head eventually. And um, it pretty much always does anyway. Um, but I feel like now it's going to be worse than ever. So the abortions being illegal and it's kind of up to the states and whatnot. We've already seen a bunch of states like fucking say what they're going to do. Whatever. So now the question is. Who are the people most likely to get abortions? Okay? Because you could go, oh, well, you know, like people in rape and incest and all this stuff and all that stuff. Um, I've never thought that that was the strongest argument for a woman's right to choose. Because, again, that is a horrible fucking thing. But that is a smaller number compared to the people who get abortions. And that's the argument the right uses all the time. So, granted, whatever. But the people who are most likely to get abortions are um, poor people, low-income people, um, people of color, um, people in poor communities, um, people who don't have um, ready access to contraception, what have you. These are the main people who are going to be affected by this. So, over the next 20 years, what's going to happen? If nothing happens with, um, like, making abortion illegal again, you're going to have a population boom um, probably bigger than what happened after World War II, okay? And this population boom is going to be in communities that do not typically vote Republican, so all of this is going to happen. <clears throat> now, when people in low-income households have many mouths to feed, they usually go on county or state um, aid. Now, what is something that Republicans fucking hate more than anything? It's people on welfare. They bitch about it all the fucking time. Fox News can't go five seconds without fucking complaining about all of these um, lazy fuckers who can't go out and get a job. Whatever. So you're going to have more and more and more people um, requesting aid. So um, the aid that's there is going to get really slim. So taxes are going to have to be raised in order to pay for this. Republicans also don't like taxes going up. So they're going to bitch and bitch and bitch and bitch and bitch about that. But you know, it's okay because the Bible allegedly says abortion's wrong. So they're doing the right thing. So then all these people um, are going to be getting aid. And all of these people growing up are going to see how hard the Republican Party will try to fight tax increases, especially tax increases on the wealthy, to be able to pay for this. So with a huge population boom, and a huge population boom in non-white areas, um, these kids growing up into adulthood are going to see the people who are making it hard for them to live. They're going to notice who the people are who are taking food out of their mouths. Okay? So, now we have this world we live in where abortion's illegal, people just have kids. Um, I, I heard something that might have been a rumor, I don't know, but Clarence Thomas wants to ban contraception of all kinds now or something like that. So, this is just going to get worse and worse and worse. But, you know... 
they're doing God's work. So, you know, good for them. Because I remember that passage in the Bible where it says, um, like, he who wears a rubber or something like that. I can't really remember. I'm not good with quoting scripture or anything like that. But, um, so anyhow, so you have all these kids who are now in adulthood who are, who are going to start voting. When you have this huge of an influx of population and 20 years of being financially oppressed by the right, um, no amount of gerrymandering and redistricting and anything is going to save the Republican Party. They are going to be pushed out and out and out and out and out. The other thing here is I was looking at this study the other day that was saying um, the average age of senators and lawmakers. Um, and like in the early 80s, the average age, I think, was like in the late 40s. And then in the early 2000s, it was um, the mid-50s. And now the, the um, average age of senators and lawmakers are um, in their late 60s. The majority of these people are white folks, white dudes, okay? Now, as this goes, it is, it's just there are going to be less and less and less Republicans, okay? Now, I'm not trying to, like, fucking scare the Republicans into, like, trying to figure something out. This is more of giving hope for people who don't want to be ran, who, who don't want their country to be ran by um, a one religion, okay? Like, America, like, we have freedom of religion, which means we have the freedom to worship or do whatever we want religiously without the government coming down on us, without the government deciding what we're doing. But yet we're living in a country that is being like laws are being made based on the religion of the people in the Supreme Court and the religion of the people in the South who are who started this whole fucking thing with um, banning abortion and all this shit. So anyway, so the the hope here is is that if the left does absolutely nothing, okay? And don't even get me started on what fucking Joe Biden's fucking said today. Like, he is using this as a, a rallying cry to get people to go vote. And he's going to do everything in his power to do absolutely fucking nothing, as he's done. So... Like, don't even get me fucking started on that. So basically, if the Democrats do what they do, and the left does what they do best, doing absolutely fucking nothing, regardless, in about 20 years, okay, the Republican Party, as we know it, will not exist at all, okay? They will have no power, no matter what Steve Bannon, like, preaches about. Back to what I'm saying. Now... This is if they do absolutely nothing. Now, if what Biden is asking for is something that can actually happen, where independents and Democrats and Republicans, because the majority of Americans want to keep a woman's right to choose. So there are Republicans out there who are more centrist Republican who think that maybe this isn't right. There are Republicans out there, shockingly enough, there are Republicans out there who are not church-going Christians, who do not read the Bible, who do not give a shit about God. There are Republicans who feel that way, okay? But what you have done in doing this, you have turned the Republican Party into the Christian Party, which it's kind of always been, so whatever. But now you've drawn a line in the sand, so now even some Republicans will be jumping ship, okay? With that said, there are going to be some things that happen. One, as the Republican Party starts to kind of implode on itself and get smaller and smaller, what the Republican Party will end up being is your Marjorie Taylor Greens, your Boberts, your fucking... Um, Mo Brooks, you're like, you're very, very far out 
if you even want to say MAGA Republican Party, okay? That's what it'll end up being. Now, here is where shit gets fun, okay? In the middle of the Senate and the House, you have the main Republicans and the corporate Democrats, okay? Now, as all of this starts going down and all this aid needs to be raised and the population is booming, you are going to have corporations seeing the writing on the wall, seeing the Republican Party dwindle. These people who have been funding these Republicans to be in office to do their bidding are going to start leaning more towards the corporate Dems. They're going to start going, okay, you guys are losing power. You guys are losing numbers. Um, your religious lunacy is making it hard for us to do anything because now taxes are being raised. So they're going to start backing the corporate Democrats who aren't much better than the corporate Republicans or the main Republican Party. So without the money that the lobby gives the Republican Party, it will dwindle and dwindle and dwindle and dwindle. And when that dwindling happens, it's going to be overnight. Like, there will be this many Republicans, and then there will be this many. Because without money, the Republican Party is nothing. They are absolutely nothing. Okay? So, whatever. So, now there's that. So, now what do we have? We have um, corporate Democrats. Okay? But what we're seeing more of now is there is the far left or the progressives, okay? And the progressives actually give a shit about people. They really fucking do. They don't want to take corporate fucking money. They don't want to fucking do the whole lobbying thing. They are trying to make positive changes for fucking people. Now, the far right is going, oh, well, that's socialism, Okay, and you can say whatever you want. And people think Biden's fucking socialist on the far right. Jesus fucking Christ. The Republicans could not have picked a better fucking Democrat to be president right now. Like, they couldn't have written this fucking better, dude. Joe Biden, he's basically done absolutely nothing. And then when he goes up and speaks, he gives a really long speech. And at the end of the day, he basically says... And that's what happened. God bless America. And he walks off. Okay, so the Republicans really lucked out that Biden got elected over anyone else that could have gotten elected. Um, so whatever, that's a whole other fucking thing. But you're going to start seeing, just like it was way back when, when the Democrats and the Republicans shifted... Um, their views, it didn't happen overnight. It was a slow progression, and this is where what we're going to see now. The conservative Republicans that are going to try to hang on to whatever they have, especially with their fucking corporate fucking money, they are going to start like coming out and saying, you know what? I, I would rather stand um, with the Democrats here. And a lot of you are going to be going, this is bullshit, this will never happen. Fucking watch, dude. These... Republicans are going to start leaning more towards the um, corporate Democrats. And it, the funniest thing about this is, is that, like, my mom hates Nancy Pelosi, okay? But if my mom lives another 20 years, she will be in the same party as Nancy Pelosi. It's fucking hysterical. I can't even fucking believe it. It's so funny how people put so much into the name of the crew they're in. It's fucking stupid. Like, if I could tell anybody anything, don't vote because of a party. Vote because of what the people are saying they're going to do for you or do for the country. Like, don't just like go, oh, well, my grandpa was a Republican and my mom was a Republican, so now I must vote Republican. That is the stupidest fucking shit I've ever fucking heard, okay? So anyway, so then you're going to have these corporate Dems who are then going to be the right and the progressives as they more and more get elected each time it's been a fucking slow burn but it is slowly slowly coming they're going to be the new left so instead of having the republicans and the democrats and the independents you're probably going to end up with 
the Democrats, the Progressives, the MAGA Republican Party, and the Independents. And um, it's it's just shocking. And the only thing that the Republicans have... Oh, let me add this to it. All of this, I'm saying 20 years. But if two things happen, the Republican Party will almost disappear overnight. Okay? Two things have to happen. One, the Electoral College has to be abolished. That has to be gone. And the filibuster has to be gone. If those two things happen... The small minority Republican Party will fucking vanish. And, it, like, I know no one watches this channel who's in fucking government or whatever. But if any fucking Democrats in the world out there who are in government just happen to fall upon this channel, nobody on the left fucking cares about you trying to be bipartisan. Nobody fucking cares. The Republicans don't fucking care. The Republican base definitely doesn't care. So why the fuck do you make such a big deal about it? It's not 1980. No one gives a shit. Do what you have to do representing the voice of the people you fucking represent. That's your only fucking job. It's not about, we're, we're gonna play fair. This guy's holding a gun to my head, but... <laughs> That's just his politics. We're going to play fair. It's bullshit. Nobody wants to do it. Get rid of the Electoral College. And if anyone in the comments could explain to me nicely, okay? I don't want any bullshit in the comments here. If anyone could explain to me how the Electoral College is not a fucking racist fucking institution... Please fucking tell me how to do that. Explain that to me. That it's not racist. That it's not classist. That, it, like, there is absolutely, absolutely no reason in this day and age to have something as archaic as the fucking Electoral College. It is, everything should be popular fucking vote. One person, one vote. That's what the fucking country is. That's what it should be. Like, there is absolutely no need for it. And there's going to be people going, yeah, but what if, like, I own, like, 10 acres and this guy rents an apartment? Why should we have the same fucking voice? Are you fucking real? Of course you should have the same fucking voice. Like, you're a person. You are not better because you own fucking land. That's the most fucking medieval fucking bullshit I've ever fucking heard, dude. Okay. So, if the Electoral College and fucking um, the filibuster goes bye-bye, all right, like, the Republicans are gone. Like, they, they will have nothing. They spend so much time, so much energy, so much forethought. This is the one thing about the Republican Party that I actually respect. Um, and not so much what they're doing, but the fact that they put this much thought and time and effort into, okay, well, in the next census, we're going to fucking um, redistrict all this stuff so there's no way um, a Democrat could win in anywhere in this state, even though we're only 30% of the population. Okay? That takes some fucking thought. And that takes some fucking balls to fucking pull off. Okay? But the Democrats won't fucking do a goddamn fucking thing about anything. <sighs> We had a Democratic president right now. We have a Democratic House and technically a Democratic Senate. The left cannot get anything fucking done. It is fucking laughable. It is a fucking joke. Um, and then something struck me too the other day. I was always going, God, you know, I can't believe, like, if there's not that many... Um, Republicans in the country and it's less than half of the population how is like Fox News like getting so many more views than any other news network um, and I was like are people just hate watching do people hate watch Tucker is that a fucking thing and then I realized that there are like two to three other huge networks or cable channels that I guess lean more left 
and if you add all that up, like, yeah, Tucker gets, like, 4 million views or whatever, 3 million views. But if you add up, like, the MSNBC, the CNN, um, whatever other stuff, you're looking at, like, 12 million views. Okay? So, I think this whole idea that, like, Fox News, it's just that, wh what do people have other than Fox News? Um, what is that? OAN and Newsmax? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's, again, laughable. If people in your own party find those networks laughable, ugh, whatever. So basically, what I'm trying to get at here, and this was a long way to get there, there is a lot of hope, and the one time the Republicans did not think things through properly, and I don't want to say the one time, but for a party that looks 10 to 15 years in the future to try to fix things and rig things to fit their agendas, they really didn't fucking think this through with this whole abortion thing. It's almost one of those things where, like, they fought it for so long and they, like, stood as that on, as their platform for the last 30 fucking years. Like, you know, or 40 fucking years. Like, we, we, we are... Um, not going to make, we're going to fight abortion. We're going to fight abortion, blah, 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 blah. And now they did it, and now they're going to have to fucking sit and stew in it. And it's just going to fuck them. Like, there is nothing in this whole thing. There is absolutely no net positive for the Republican Party for doing this, other than, hey, you religious people, we told you we would do this. Ain't we cool? That's all they got. But it's going to turn everyone else who is not the religious right away from their party. And so now we just get to sit back and watch. Hopefully, though, um, what this will do will show independent voters and the people on the left that the things we have, we cannot take for granted. We have to constantly be vigilant about the, the rights that we have. Like, we can't just, like, sit back and go, oh, that'll never happen, that'll never happen, that'll never happen, because it just fucking did. So, let me know what you think down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.